Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for yet more of your daily gaming news with myself, Amata. Today is still the 21st of October and this time I'm bringing you some more news on Fable Legends. And we haven't heard that name for a little while, but... Lionheart Studios has given some information regarding this game and has said that it plans to develop Fable Legends storyline post-release with episodic DLC and are basically telling fans to consider the game's initial launch as Season 1. Now, this came from game director David Eckleberry when he was speaking to IGN, and he said that narrative is an important focus for the studio and that a TV series-like structure of content delivery will allow it to develop the story over a longer period of time. And I've got some direct quotes for you here. He said, The storyline is absolutely there and very important. Of course, there's a higher purpose with a broad storyline that combines the various quests. But we tell new stories all the time. That's the beauty of episodic content. We don't want Fable Legends to stop when you finish the game. You should think about seasons and episodes. Fable Legends might just be season one, or we could have new quests and stories in the future in the form of DLC, for example. Now, of course, this was announced back in August at Gamescom and as you found out there Fable Legends will be set in Albion and will be supporting four player co-op play. Now in September Lionhead boss John Needham did say that Fable Legends will continue to evolve online for as many as 10 years and he said quote this is the next big Fable game that is going to be out for five to ten years so it needs to be big it needs to be interesting there needs to be a lot of stuff to do it needs to integrate all the cloud and Xbox One features so we keep our community alive and growing so yeah it's big and ambitious but it needs to be because it's going to be around for a long time. So a rather interesting idea to say the least. Now obviously this isn't going to be the first game to do episodic content. Of course there's quite a few games that have done that in the past. Most notably of course The Walking Dead and The Wolf Among Us most recently from Telltale Games. But of course even games back in the day did that. For example... Siren Blood Curse, which was released for the PS3 initially in 2008. So it's not exactly a new idea to say the least, but it really depends on how they plan on structuring the pricing for this game, whether or not this is going to get a thumbs up or thumbs down from most people. Now, if they're going to do it in terms of, say, for example, as The Walking Dead and The Wolf Among Us did things with Telltale and that when you buy the season you buy all of the episodes so say for example you drop oh i don't know thirty dollars and you get all of season one which is five chapters just for example then that's reasonable but it really depends on how many chapters or how many seasons excuse me you're planning on releasing over a certain period of time if you're going to release oh i don't know five series in one year just i know it's a really outlandish example that's probably not going to happen but just to be completely out there and offer an extreme example of what i'm trying to say then obviously people are going to feel a tad ripped off however the line that people will draw is really down to the person for example one person might be happy with two seasons per year and will happily drop the 30 bucks or whatever each time and won't really think much of it however for someone else that might be a bit much because they've got all sorts of other games coming out especially with the next generation on the way and of course tons of titles coming out in the next few months and of course well into next year so it really depends on the pricing structure and of course the price of the initial release so if you've got a full $60 release and then you're releasing each further thing for $60 then I think people might feel a smidge ripped off but if you're doing the full release the first release is most expensive and then the further seasons are slightly cheaper that could work it really is pure speculation at this point and I can't really offer any solid facts unfortunately as they have yet to discuss the pricing model or how this is going to work just that they are hoping to do an episodic release through DLC so if it's a season based call if it's not then well we'll have to see on what actually happens so fingers crossed for some positive news regarding fable legends very very soon anyway that is me done for this video hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.